What's up guys? We are H Tech Review back with another video. Taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite running the DeX feature. So with the recent update to this tablet, uh, it was updated to Android 11, uh, One UI 3.1, and that added the feature of Samsung DeX. Now DeX has mainly been for your uh, higher end uh, devices such as uh, something like your Galaxy Z Fold 2 and your other Samsung devices, uh, phones that are higher tier. So with the 3.1, uh, one of the features that it added was Samsung DeX. So right now I have my tablet in tablet mode right here. And as you guys see, I have a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up and a mouse. So you can use all of this uh, with the tablet in this mode and not be in Samsung DeX. But I want to show you just how well DeX works on this or how well it doesn't work. And I'll let you guys see just how it performs with DeX on it. So you guys see I can use the mouse and move around here and do all of this. Uh, but the DeX feature is going to be more of a desktop type environment uh, in comparison to this. So to get into Samsung DeX, uh, you go to your drop down menu and there's DEX right there. You just hit that. And within a few seconds, DEX should pop up. And then we'll take a look at the layout of DEX and see how it performs. So, as you see, it doesn't take very long to get into Samsung DEX. Uh, this is the layout. Now, I can still use my, my pen to open up stuff uh, just like I could in tablet mode. But with DEX, I can uh, now I can move these. Uh, one of those wherever I want, and I can resize them if I need need to. I can resize this. I can uh, snap it to one side if I want, just like this, and open up another app on the other side. So let's go ahead and do Twitter. So there's Twitter open up as well as the Play Store right there. Now I can snap this as well over to the other side. So now I'm running the Play Store and Twitter at the same time, and I can minimalize these like so, or expand them full screen. As you guys see, I can expand this. I can minimalize it again. I can unsnap it and put it over here if I want. Now if I want to open up something else, let's go ahead and go to uh, YouTube. So you can have as many windows as you want open on this and they're all active so if i wanted to go over here and play a video uh from my channel and be doing something else so let's go ahead and pick this video probably going to have an ad there so you can turn down your volume over here right there you can control your volume from here we're going to go over this down at the bottom as well but now i can have my video going here I'll turn the volume up a little bit. And now I can be watching that video, trolling Twitter, strolling Twitter, not, <laughs> not trolling Twitter, but strolling and also looking for apps on this as well as have my video going over there on the side over there. So that is uh, some of the neat stuff that uh, Dex offers. And as you see, I'm still using my S Pen to do it. Now I can use it with my mouse. So down here at the bottom, I can see my battery. I got my drop down menu here. I got my battery percentage. Uh, I can, you know, turn on Bluetooth, turn off Wi Fi, all of that stuff right here at the bottom. I can see all of my notifications here. I can interact if I wanted to uh, answer a, a uh, message from someone or something like that. I can also have this link to my phone so I can answer phone calls and things of that nature. I can take a screenshot. That's what this is for. There's the screenshot. And now I can uh, do whatever I want to do to that screenshot, mock it up, mark it up, or whatever. I can uh, control the volume like this, like I showed you guys. I can bring up the onboard keyboard if I wanted to use that. But I do have a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up over here. This is going to show you all of the apps that I have open 
And I can just pop back into Twitter if I want right there. I can go back over here again and I can close all of these out. Uh, this is my app tray where I can go ahead and see everything that I have on the device. And up here, this is the apps that I prefer to have on my home screen. If I left, left click on my mouse, I can uh, stream zoom, clean up page, sort by, or change the wallpaper. And like I said, I can move these around wherever I feel fit to move them. And I can also add other apps to the home screen as well. So let's do look at a little bit of, uh, as you see the keyboard, the mouse is working good on this. So let's check out the keyboard. So you double click. I'm going to go into Samsung uh, browser here. And I'm going to go ahead and snap this full screen like so. So if I wanted to search for something, let's see how well the keyboard works. Uh, let's get out of this. Uh, what do I want to look for? Samsung. Galaxy. Tab S6 Lite. That's what I look for. S6 Lite. So as you see, no lag with this. This is just a generic keyboard here. And as you guys see, I can go through and do whatever I want to do here. I can minimalize this like so, and I can move this over. So say, for instance, I'm uh, creating a note or something. So I'm going to go into my notes here, and I'm going to create a new note. And I'm going to snap this over to one side, give me a little bit more. Now I want to snap it to one side. I don't want the full string. So I'm going to shrink it down. So there it is, snapped to uh, one side. And I also have my browser open here. So I'm going to go ahead and snap that to one side. So if I'm working on a new note or a document, whatever platform I'm in, I got a like a desktop type environment here where if I needed some of this information here, Say, for instance, I needed this picture here of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. I can just reach over and grab it and pop it in place right there. Or if I needed some text from this. So let's go back. And I needed this text right here, or uh, this information here. So I'll highlight it, uh, copy it, and then go over here. And I can paste that information right there and work on my... Uh, my note or my document straight from here. And at the same time, if I wanted to uh, be listening, you can be listening to your music. I'm going to use uh, YouTube as an, an example here. So going to uh, minimize this. So I'm working on my document here. And this could be, this, this could be anything. This could be Twitter or whatever. You can be doing all this at one time while you're creating your, your document over here and getting work done, but at the same time, you want to have something going in the background, and it, you can also do that as well. So this device is, done, uh, you can this. get a lot of work done with this, as you guys see, and it's performing well with the processor that it has in it. Now, one thing about this device, in comparison to your upper tier devices, such as this, this device here and your Samsung Galaxy Tab S7s, uh, there's no, you cannot Bluetooth this to another monitor, DeX, and you cannot hook this up to an external monitor because this is running USB-C 2.0 and not 3.0. So that's that's a limitation for it right there. But Samsung DeX works great on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, guys. So that's my look at it. Uh, catch you guys in the next video. Will H. Perfect. Perfect.